Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hello everyone, we're Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper. This is episode 11 of our trip to Norway. We left you last time in a little lay-by admiring this beautiful waterfall. The weather seems to be changing now. Maybe we're in for some rain. These roads and these tunnels are so bendy. Yeah. We've never seen so many tunnels, have we, buddy? one kilometre to the waterfall. Now this place had me wondering, what is it about a waterfall that creates a tourist attraction and one that doesn't? And then I came to the conclusion it was about having the space to accommodate tourists. Three hour limits between 8am and 8pm. There's your waterfall, so it's not far to walk. Oh, that's right. I can manage that. <laughs> manage that. I can manage that. I was getting quite worried. Oh, I told you it wasn't far. Quite a lot of the attractions are very near to the roads. We are at the end of the season now, so some of them are no longer open. Oh, we have an ice cream after. Oh, would that be nice? You do like an ice cream, don't you, Charlie? I do. So this is Steindalsfossen waterfall. So that's where you walk behind it up on the upper level. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it's very dry, isn't it? It would appear that they've had a very dry summer here in Norway. Now this is what I would imagine Switzerland to look like. Now this is an easy climb up to the waterfall. It's also peaceful, but Charlie Brown is about to freak out in three, two, one. Oh, huge dragonfly! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Landed on me. Changing, you could have filmed it. I bet there's normally much more water than this. Lovely view from up here of a gorgeous valley, but it wasn't long before the thought of that ice cream lured us back down the hill. Any nuts or sprinkles? Uh, yeah, that's some of those sprinkles. These multicoloured ones? Yeah. yeah. Some of these ones. Yeah. And we have some of these. Sprinkles, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's a big one. <laughs> you ice cream, Bunny? Mm. Very generous portion. Yeah. Very crunchy, do you some? Mm. Oh, they're called hundreds and thousands. Yeah. Just sprinkles, I call them. Mm. It's bigger than your head. 
Okay, enjoy your visit to the waterfall. Yeah. Quite me ice cream as well. Yeah. And then we need a park up. Mm. This place is called Kavam. K V A M. It's obviously a big uh, skiing area in the winter time. It's like there's a campsite yeah, there's a there. Very big police stations down there. Well, that's one massive. Well. For out in the middle of nowhere. trying to find a park up that's on park for night. I haven't seen it, have you? No. Gone past it then, that's weird. There was supposed to be a park up, but we can't see it. And there's a lovely view. Any idea where it was? No. After a reappraisal, we think it's a little bit further up on the right hand side. It's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. It's slopey. It's very slopey. We can stop and rethink. Yeah, good place to stop, mate. It's weird how you can only get in that way. Yeah. And then you then you've got to turn around. Hmm, not sure about this place. It often takes a few minutes to make up my mind whether I want to stay or not. It is just level enough to let us sleep okay, but there's something about it I don't like. Simple chilli. So that chilli worked out well, I think. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. So all I did was I fried the mince mm. in some olive oil, mm. let it brown, dump the carrots and the onion in, just put a lid on it, no water or anything, and then let that cook for about 15 minutes. Then I added in a whole tin, a small tin of tomato paste mix it up and finally added in a whole tin of kidney beans including all the juice and then that um, gave it the right consistency at the end tasty well the weather forecast last night said we were going to get really heavy rain this morning but so far it's not turned up and we had nothing during the night It's a blooming hard life here with heated toilets and hot water on tap and we're not the only ones who thought it was a good idea to stop. What are we having for our breakfast then? I didn't have any donuts so we try these Gifla. Gifla. They're like little um, cinnamon buns. Okay, okay let's see what they're like. Yeah. And interesting it's written in English on the back, oh so tasty. Mm -hmm. We know it's impossible to open a bag of Gifla and only take one. It's as if there's something magical that attracts you again and again. But there is no magic, just irresistibly tasty Gifla with delicious curly swirly fillings made to bite size to allow you to easily sneak another or share if there are any left. I'm not sharing with anybody. <laughs> share my Gifla. They must be mad. We're warming them up, are we? Yeah. 
Or are we cremating them? Give them. This is what they're like. <laughs> what do you think of them then? Mmm, let's taste one and see. Mmm. Well, sort of gooey dough and quite sweet and very cinnamony. Mmm. So, yeah, I like them. Not your cup of tea? Not my cup of tea. I'd eat a whole bag. You would, wouldn't you? She didn't eat the whole bag, but she had a good go. Do you ever put your boots on and then suddenly realise you're still in your pyjamas? <laughs> Pain in the arse. Bit of a moody morning today. They say you can get a sprinkling of snow at any time in Norway. I don't mind seeing it on the hills, but I don't want to see it down here. I always find it best to leave wiping the windows until just before you're ready to set off. Otherwise, they'll just fog up again. <clears throat> okay, we're ready to roll. Yep. So we're heading to Flam. Well, we didn't really use it as a campsite, but we did spend the night, just like these good people. Nobody seemed to mind. I should have, oh, there's another one down there. Look. It's tucked out the way, isn't it? It's a nice spot down there. We didn't notice that. Didn't even that. know that was there, did we? Oh, I bet we could have grabbed that last night. How am I doing your way? Clear. 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 Okay. A bit more slopey than we were down there, I think. So we stayed the night in that rest place. And when I was doing my research, it said you can stay in rest places for one night in your camper and they're all free. But there was a sign on the wall at that one yeah. um, saying, please don't use this rest place as an overnight camping spot. Well, no, it doesn't say as an overnight camping spot. It just said, please don't use this as a campsite. Now, oh. what I took that from that was, please don't get all your, your chairs and yes. tables yeah. out and stay here longer than you're welcome that's it but you know it's a rest stop so common sense would say parking the night should be perfectly fine as long as you've gone early the next day and uh there were only three of us there but i should imagine during the summer month it's probably absolutely ram-packed Putting out the snow poles by the looks of it there. Is that what he was doing? Well, he had a load of red poles and he seemed to be driving along slowly and putting them into sockets. I always assume they kept them out all year round. Yeah, but maybe they've had to take them down because the roads have obviously been uh, resurfaced. Yeah. These machines here are their little toll cameras and just preceding them is a sign telling you how much this section will cost. It's only a few kroner, isn't it? Yeah, this one was um, about 25 kroner, I think. So we've registered with Autopass. Do you want to tell them about that, Charlie? So, um, we've downloaded an app called ePass24 and you just uh, put in all your details and your vehicle registration number and um, attach it to a credit or debit card and then they'll just automatically take the money from you. So you don't have to worry. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's see. We're used to these tunnels now really, aren't we? Oh, you're the one driving. Yeah, they're... I didn't like them at first. It used yeah. to take my eyes quite a lot of time to adjust. Uh, doesn't seem to be the case now. So we've just come down nearer to the fjord. And there was a viewpoint shown here. They had a nice spot for the night, didn't they? Yeah, very nice, very scenic. 
I wonder if this used to be the main road for the tunnel, I should imagine well, it was. it would have been before they built the tunnel. Yeah. yeah. Just winds its way all the way around the edge. Yeah. It's got its own little tunnel. These tunnels are much smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Probably a bit rougher as well. No stop go boards, are there? No, I can't see it. Yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> You're not very clear on your signaling. I wouldn't That's really call that traffic control, would you? No. <laughs> Could at least have Or please yourself control. Stop go boards. Going up and up. They obviously get rock falls here, don't they? Because they've got big nets. Big nets, yeah. Trying to hold it back. And this is an avalanche tunnel, is it? I would think so. See the netting. Mm. Well, I stopped to take a view, but there isn't a view. So I got wet for nothing. Are you cosy with your little jumper on your knees? Just my legs warm. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Let's see what it's like in here, shall we? Yeah, we haven't tried a kiwi yet. No. So what's the prices like, Charlie? Oh, oh no, English breakfast tea is 57. Is that the same sort of price? Yeah, that's expensive. Same as Rima. We, we need Horlicks on a day yeah, like today. Keep us cosy. Yeah, see if they got any. How'd you make it? Because we don't carry a lot of Ten milk, portions. do we? Oh, they just like packets. Yeah, but how do you make it? Just with water, I guess. Probably doesn't taste as good as it would with milk. Okay. Had our little shopping fix at Kiwi. Very nice shop. Yeah, I thought it was quite nice in there, especially yeah. their fresh fruit and veg. It will look very nice. Mm. He's got his belly up. He doesn't know he's got his boot up. No, he doesn't. There's traffic coming. Oh, he's turning off. He's turning off right, it's clear. Clear, clear, clear. It's nice to stretch the legs. Yeah. So it's just a driving day today in the rain. Yeah. It's fine. Give the van a wash though. Yeah. I think this is to Vinge Fossum. Well, we finally got the weather I was expecting for this trip. The rain got very heavy at one point and when it does that we always pull in if we can. It's got nice and cosy in here, I'm oh, me. It's a bit more space. Get rid of the coat. Yeah. Uh, do we want to try that gash bag idea? You know, having the bag in here with a load and just... Where's it going to go now? Well, it would go on the seat. <sighs> She's doubtful. Well, I'm doubtful that it would go on the seat. And what are you going to do? Put the crate on top of it and that would squash all the food. Oh dear. Or put it on top of the crate. That idea has been roundly rejected. It will come back in a future episode and prove to be a marvellous success. Because we've got to get rid of this as well on yeah. top of the crate. Okay, she's weakened. We're going to try this We're idea. We're going to try this idea. See. I think it will work. So. Coats. Coats. Well, coats should go in last because yeah, it's. Midge nets can go in. Uh, but they should go back in the cupboard. Not really. I want them. Well, it can do. Put it in the bag, please. Can we test this system? 
The idea is one There's bag. So I can get it out like when we Well, that depends somewhere. where you put it, doesn't it? If you want to get hard, it needs to be on top of this bag. Oh, My idea is this is a, a, a stuff bag where we stuff things. And then when we need to move it, we're moving one bag, not dozen, yeah. loads of bags. it was a spare food bag. It can be used for anything. Yeah. Right, now we're going to sort out the food. Are we? No, we're just going to go with that for now. Oh, right, okay. This communication, she thought this bag was for food. It's just for stuffing stuff until we want it. How's soup doing? It's fine. I can just sit here <coughs> and stir it. <clears throat> I've got pepper up my nose. <laughs> You've just been stirring that for 10 minutes and the gas has gone out. That's a nice thick cup of soup. What is it? Um, cauliflower and broccoli. Yummy. Mm, yummy lunch, thank you very much. And the soup's very nice as well. Right. We've had enough here, haven't we, Charlie? Yeah, it's still raining. Still raining. We need to move on. Yeah. This car come in. Yeah. Oh, look at that low cloud now. Yeah, it's plenty of it, isn't it? Settling in for the day worse than it was earlier. What were you eating tonight? Uh, chicken. Oh yeah. In uh, what was that soup you bought? Um, good question. I keep forgetting. Well, we <laughs> So you're going straight over the roundabout. Radio. And then we're having it with potatoes, carrots, and white beans. Yeah. And we'll put some of those green beans in from the freezer and to get rid of them. Beans, yeah. Wow, oh, that's a big um, hydroelectric pipe. This one. Yeah. That's strong. We're fed up with the major roads, so we're taking the side road for a change. This is what a white road looks like on Pocket Earth. That yeah, one up there. white one. And um, this one we're on is an orange one. Yeah. And mm. the main roads are red ones. Yeah. So we've just come off onto this orange road to come down the right hand side of this lake whereas the main road carries on up the left hand side of the lake. Okay, very low cloud over there now that A lot of wood in that shed, did you see it? No. Uh, big barn like this red one here. Just full of logs. Full of logs. Yeah, we'll need them for the winter. It's an older property, isn't it? Front, show this ramp up to the top of the barn. Oh, a lovely little greenhouse there. It's pretty, is that? A rickety old barn as well now. It's a murky day, but it's still very beautiful. Very picturesque though sometimes. Very picturesque. Yeah. Spooky. It's more traditional ones with the grass roofs. Yeah. Do where Norwegians go for their holiday then. Whether they head south. Head south, I suppose. Okay, we're nearly at the end. And 
nice. It cost a bit to heat, wouldn't it? Yeah, doesn't look lived in either. Trailer. It's a huge cliff. And there's waterfalls down here as well and it's been raining a lot. Mm. Toilets. I don't know if you're short for somewhere to stay, we could stay here. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to stay here. Somebody has been putting self-made signs saying no camping. Uh, there's one here on the outside by the door of the loo. It's very homemade, isn't it? Uh, What's it saying? It just says, not, this oh, is a rest area, not for overnight stay or not camping. Not for overnight stay or camping, very I say. Yeah. That's yeah. clearly a bit of homemade stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just get the vibe that the locals may be getting a bit fed up with all the campers. Because how does that chime with the right to camp right. they have in this country? Yeah, exactly. And I thought you were allowed to stay one night in a rest Anywhere, area. yeah. Yeah, as long as you didn't treat it like a campsite. Yeah. Oh well, we'll keep going for now. Well, it was really spooky there, how all the mist was just lingering in the trees yeah. at a really low level. Almost looks like snow, doesn't it? Yeah. Right by the road. Mm. I wonder if they come and work here. Well, they obviously do. But. Don't um, it's near the road, do we? What we could do is get up early and be a rock. Yeah. We're still having trouble finding a park up. This is a uh, park up that's on park for night, but to be honest with you, we don't fancy staying here. It's just like a rubble. And I would imagine we could get woken up fairly early here with things being done. We're just opposite a garage here. Near, we're near to Flam, but round here, everything seems to be bedecked with labels saying no camping. So we're going to try another one that we found on park for night, aren't we, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going and try again. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Well, the later it gets and the more... The easier it'll be. The easier hopefully. it'll be. Yeah. Not that there's many people out in this weather. No. Can you not see that? It's stopped what, is now. It a flashing light? No, or? it was something like something revolving. I thought it was a, oh a cyclist or something. Is it like the fan and, in and the And the light was, well, it, I suppose it could be. It was just on this bend. Well, park ups are proving much harder to find than we thought they would on this section, but at least we had some pretty lights to cheer us up. They were blue a moment ago, weren't they, the yeah. lights? Now they're red. Now they're purple. What is the significance of this section? 
just to keep you interested to stop you falling asleep. <laughs> Maybe.